B2B SaaS and software startups sometimes have to start from zero. So as a founder or marketer for a startup, how do you drive highly relevant and high intent traffic? If your competitors are getting traffic already, how can you get the same and how can you do it easily? And today I'm going to be showing you how B2B SaaS or software startups can steal competitive traffic with Google ads. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing my easy approach on getting started with this. If you're new here, I'm Neil Patel and I'm a growth marketer based in the UK. And on this channel, I break down growth marketing and personal growth so we can better grow our careers, businesses and ourselves. And I want to quickly shout out the following for commenting and letting me know to make this video simply because the previous video on stealing competitor traffic was kind of difficult to create certain things like custom segments so i'm going to show you an even easier way to do this today so let's get into it i'm actually going to be sharing a google ads window for this campaign and i'm going to show you exactly how you can set up some of these campaigns to to start or to set up this campaign to start it's actually a single campaign you need to set up so i've got this test account which i'll use and what we're going to do is you need to understand that you need to pick the most impactful competitors that are against your SaaS or software startup today, um, but not any indirect competitors, right? So they need to be directly competing with your product. And so you want to make sure first that there is something called exact match with the match types on Google ads, especially search ads. That's what we're going to be setting up today. And it's super easy to do if you haven't done this already. So what I would do is First, you want to, you'll probably come to an overview section, um, but you want to just quickly go to campaigns and then campaigns here, right? So let's go ahead and create a campaign. I'm actually going to go in and you essentially want to optimize for leads because um, there are ways that you can sort of get, use other ab um, objectives to get things going. But initially what you want to focus on is leads, right? So let's just say um, you want to select leads and then let's say um, you just want to continue for now ignore add the goal which is where if you have conversion tracking in the future you want to make sure you add these conversion parameters but it's important that you want to go with search in the beginning right so this is actually the most effective way of targeting competitor traffic simply because it's to do with high intent right so that's what we want highly relevant and high intent traffic so i know that my previous video was specifically aimed at creating custom segments for certain competitors and then showing a video ad. If you've got spare budget to do that, then that makes sense. Um, and they've changed the UI a bit. Therefore, it's very different to create audiences now. Um, instead is what it's called. But for this instance, this is the simple setup. So follow this along. And then you can say that uh, you can either do it through lead form submissions or you can get people to come to your website to convert. So let's say if I want to go at companya.com, right? But for now, it's probably, it might fail. Um, and I'm going to call this like my competitors campaign, right? And this is generally like a middle of the funnel campaign or a, you can even say it's a mid to bottom of the funnel, but let's call it the middle of the funnel campaign right now, because we're still looking for the people that actually want to, um, to, to, to get there. So we want to focus on conversion CS, but in the end, let's say this is your first campaign. So what I would do is I would actually focus on cost manual CPC bidding. And then let's just say that it costs about five pounds um, to, to bid on everyone. Uh, bid for new customers only. Just let's go for default right now. So let's make sure we switch these off. We don't want any partner search partners or even Google display network to be added here and you want to target your specific location. So let's say we want to do a the United States for this instance. Um, a lot of the companies that I work with actually do work in the United States. So we're going to we're going to do that. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to do people who actually are in or regularly in your you can do interest. It's still the same thing because it's a software business. So you've got to remember it's not really it's not particularly location bound inadvertently right so someone might have a business outside that want that can subscribe to your software for example if that is your target market english here's your audience segments that's what i was talking about earlier but this is uh, something else for now so let's keep this off skip this for now and this is where we are right so let's say that is the keyword section that we want to specifically focus on so you are going to pick keywords 
And now what's important is that you go for exact match keywords because you first you need to make, we're focusing on three things, right? We're gonna make the ads relevant, right? But also we wanna make sure we manage our budget effectively. It needs to be efficient. So the way to do that is you would pick certain companies. So for, for example, my name's company A and right now I'm gonna go for company B. Uh, note that these are the keywords that you can start off with but just put the match in there as well, right? So let's see, let's get this going. Uh, been so used to doing it by duplicating campaigns. So company D, right? And the reason why is because you're bidding specifically on that brand, right? So you're bidding specifically on the brand that you're putting in here and you're not gonna be bidding on anything else, right? You're not gonna go for top of the funnel searches. So that's what we want to do. This is how you specifically at target these particular competitors. And it's important that we do that, right? Um, so again, exact match, not broad, not phrase, but exact match because we want to control as much of our budget as possible. There are ways to make it even more relevant by going after things like company C alternatives, right? If someone's specifically searching for that. Imagine if a com the company C has already generated enough demand in the market or there is enough demand in the market and they're looking for company C, someone looking for company C alternatives, maybe they're already in the market for the solution that's similar to yours, but they, the user's just simply looking for alternatives. So having your ad there can drive that relevant user to your website and have things going. Make sure you don't do phrase match. Make sure you don't do um, a broad match at the start. Start with the exact match because you've got a limited budget. Once, you, once you're comfortable enough and you know that you've added negative keywords, et cetera, um, and you've removed any fluff from any of your campaigns, you've killed maybe your keywords that don't work, but you kept the ones that do work, maybe then it's explored. It's good to explore your search terms report and then add them in. And then over time, you'll notice that you'll be able to add things like a phrase match so that you can expand upon those keywords and see what else can be targeted similar to these, right? Right, so let's go. You're gonna put your final uh, URL in, where you're going, where you're taking them. So let's say it's company, where we're company A, we're gonna send them to company B. And then your headlines, you wanna make sure that you're prepared to show the users that are specifically looking for the company, the most ideal information that serves that intent. It matches up to what they're searching. You need to be able to investigate those particular competitors, right? look at what they're saying, look at what their language is like, and then spin up an ad to do with your brand. And then that way you can drive people to it. You can feel free to use the, what your specific offering is in your ad and make sure you have a, essentially like a unique value proposition and then your brand name, at least so people know where to go. What I would recommend is you don't use your competitor ad, your competitor brand names in your ads because that could cause copyright infringement. In order to avoid dealing with that mess, it's best if you simply bid on competitors and then have your own relevant ad on there. So let's say you've got your ads, we've made that relevant. That's it, you go to make your description and then you wanna make sure it's very clear what do you want them to do next. If, they, if you're looking for alternatives, maybe you have a guide or something that you're driving people to on your website and it shows the best platforms out there, including your competitor and then where you shine over your competitor. Now that's a perfect way to drive traffic to your website. And then you can get them to book a demo. You could also get them to book a demo or go to a website. In Most people say you shouldn't do it to a website, but if you don't have anything in the beginning, the website is actually okay. But I still would recommend spinning up a very specific page beforehand. And that's it. This is the portion where you should target your company keywords. This is the way to target companies and make sure you go after their particular brands, uh, you get people who are searching for them to come to your website and book a demo perhaps. So I've shown you now how to target competitor keywords. And what's important is that there are three caveats that you need to actually be wary of. The first one is that with this strategy, you, you will need to have big budgets generally because imagine if someone, imagine if a brand name already has a ton of traction and a lot of people know about them, a lot of people go to them, but you do have a unique selling proposition. Maybe you're cheaper. Maybe you actually have a better feature. Maybe there's an issue with the current product 
um, of that competitors and you have found an enhanced way of delivering it to market, getting it to market. What I would suggest is bidding low, otherwise you will lo lose your budget quickly. And that's why I suggested doing manual CPC bidding and seeing how long you can, how low you can get the bid to at least get a few clicks and then work your way to increasing your budget depending on how well your ads perform and how relevant your ads are. Caveat two is you need to make sure that you also exclude your competitors and then be ready to carve out some budget to bid on your own brand because if competitors do somehow catch on to the fact that you're bidding on their brand terms, then they could even start bidding on yours. You'll have to look to have a defensive budget set in place so that you can bid on your own brand. Mind you, it'll always be cheap to bid on your own brand simply because you'll have the highest quality score. Therefore, you're more likely to get the cheapest cost per click every time when you're defending yourself. Keep that in mind. The third is, the third caveat to this strategy is to expect to be in second position. Even though you won't get all the clicks at the very top, you'll still get clicks so that uh, some of the clicks for people looking for alternatives and that sort of thing. So there we have it. It's a quick tutorial, super easy way to drive traffic away from your competitor's website or searches to your website directly so that they can book a lead. Thank you again to those who actually commented and mentioned to spin up the tutorial to target competitors. This way the, is probably the most easiest way to do it. So set, and it's obviously high intent, which is even more valuable. You'd have to worry about rinsing budget. Now, this is the easiest way to get started. There are better ways to do it, of course, and it depends on your keyword research, but that's something we'll go into in a future tutorial. Just comment that in the section below if you actually do want to see that, how you can uh, use competitor keywords specifically to make things happen, to use your budget more effectively, opposed to just bidding on the brand name alone as an exact match. If you do like this video, just please do like, subscribe, share. And if you haven't seen my previous video on, the ta on targeting competitor websites, you know, to run video ads against them um, on a display format, then, you know, you can test that out and let me know what you think. And you can watch that video here, right? Anyway, question, are you running any competitor campaigns at the moment? Comment yes or no, depending on your answer in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. See you soon.